Hello, I'm Antridism and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. As Ravenclaw, which is suddenly looking a lot bigger after eating Ragusa and a couple of episodes against uh, Croatia, Hungary. Well, that was entirely one episode. Uh, pretty damn crazy. We've uh, kind of blobbed a little bit. Now, of course, you know, the provinces over here are much larger than the provinces over here. But this has always been a bit slower because of the HRE. Uh, now it's not the HRE, we can go for it, but it's still kind of close near and aggress expansion does happen. And frankly, I want to keep that to a minimum. Oh my god, 41 with Styria. 35 with Salzburg and a half above 32. We need to definitely uh, keep it on the down low for a little while, maybe. Except in Italy, where I think we have a little bit of a chance to get away with a couple of, uh, couple of little things. So, for instance, Siena, which is a vassal of Castile, we will ignore. I was going to say something different there. Definitely going to ignore. Um, ooh, who else? I mean... Abina would be our girl. But, frankly, I'd prefer to feed Medena. I mean, the alternative is we go to war against Castile and be like, yeah, come take Sienna back from us. You're not going to get it. Depends how strong Castile is, though. I mean, if we could land troops in Castile, I would be all for, for it. Like, I would be I would be the first through the breach, and we would own Castile as much as possible. It depends entirely how strong they'd be, but uh, I would love that. I mean, they're about 30k, they have 21 troops. I have 13k, but I have over double that. I think we had a, we would have a great chance of making Castile uh, give up Aragon or uh, whatever it is. You own a Castile. I do think that it's something that has to happen, um, otherwise it's going to be a very slow, very slow drag through Naples. And I think maybe forcing them out would be great, but I kind of need France for that, which I don't have. Slytherin? Could get Slytherin on the side. I mean, do you? what's your relationship with Aragon like? Do you like Aragon? Do you not like them? You're, you're not really... You're, not, you're kind of ambivalent either way, I guess. That's a good way to put it. So... In terms of getting to Castile, I could go Switzerland, Slytherin, and they'd all give me military access. And then effectively I could fight a battle in Aragon, Castile, Portugal. Castile, are you actually allied to Portugal? Please tell me you aren't. You aren't. Oh, you're allied with France. Bloody hell, that changes things a little bit there. I mean, if I declare... I can't declare war directly on a vassal, can you? Let's find out. No, I can. Oh, wait, no, yeah, 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 it effectively, it, can't, it calls France in, it calls Provence in. Yeah. Ouch. Let's check that again, just for old time's sake. Asbach would come and defend us. whoop -dee. I mean, it'd be different if we had Slytherin or England. I'd probably Slytherin and England. But right now? Facing France as well? I mean, France certainly not the powerhouse they used to be, but they are still strong, and they get strong as the game goes on. They, have, yeah, they're 54. Yeah, they are probably the biggest army in the world. Maybe barring possibly Muscovy, who are doing very well. Um, yeah, I kind of think Siena's gonna be independent forever. I don't think there's a lot we can do about Castile and France. I mean, that's just. Uh, that's crazy talk. I mean, is there any way we can split you up? We could declare war on Provence. Which would call in Castile. Mm. We'd have to get war on Provence first, which just wouldn't happen. Unless we like the leader of the HRE. If the leader of the HRE, we'd have Imperial Liberation Castus Bell. I'd be able to go, Provence, sod off. Ah, uh, we want the provinces back. They'd go, no. We'd fight Castile. We could be like, Castile, uh, no, your treaty. And then we could be to Provence. Then get rid of Francis. Then we can still have no treat with France. Then, yeah, so that would work. But we need to be leader of the HRE. So we're talking at least a minimum 21 years. It's probably going to be more like 50 plus. So I don't think it's uh, really you know, legitimate to do that as a tactic. Now, you know, even a war in Naples suddenly becomes impossible because they're allied to France. Uh, it's the entire of Western continental Europe, right? that, that, and that. I mean, not Portugal. I mean, the most we could possibly do is maybe ally Portugal and be like, right, can we hate Castile? But they, they don't seem to want to. 
it's uh, it's a frustrating situation. I guess what we're going to do is just fast forward for a little while. Get our manpower back. Denmark, our brother and sister in the faith, is coming to your in the Swedish conquest of Narka in Sweden. This is the defender of the faith, and we're obliged to defend them. Sweden is allied with England, Muscovy, and Gryffindor. Who are you allied to, Denmark? Please tell me you've got someone. Poland. Brandenburg. Norway. Okay, yeah, I'll accept that. I feel there's a chance that, uh, you know, Poland could pull through. Maybe. I'm not going to get involved, personally. Just, just putting that out there. Maybe other diplomats to go to England and just, like, improve relations in England. Just to maybe get them to stop, uh, you know, rivaling us. Aha! The province that I was expecting. Oh. It's not a province I was expecting. It was, uh... You. Very well. We'll go kill you. Five troops are nothing to me. My 24 will crush you. I don't know. How's the war going? We're winning by five. Cool. Doesn't mean a lot to me. I can't actually see really what's going on. I could zoom in and have a look. I guess that would help. I can't see any enemy troops. Oh, there we go. Hi. Oh, maybe we should go help. That seems like something we should go help on. Yeah, but I want to save up for more troops. I would need military access through Hungary. Would they give us military access? They would! That's interesting. Would you be a vassal of mine? Oh, you are you're a march under Poland. Okay. Would you give us military access? You wouldn't. I like the fact that hu Hungary will give us military access. The people we just destroyed. Come back from England. It's going to take you a little while to travel. Oh, that's fairly quick travel time. And then Moldavia. Uh, or I could just fight these guys. Yeah, I'll fight these guys for you. Is that mountains? Yes, it is. That one's highlands, so we'll go through the highlands. Right. Now we've got to find out where the best supply weight is. 25. 27. I have military access through Moldavia already. Oh, because they're a march under Poland. Yeah. Okay. Derp. Lose a load of ducats or lose stability. I lose the ducats, thank you. And why are we being attacked? Sod off. I don't know part of your revolution. Where after that? Oh my god, it gets really, really low. Yeah, we can go this way. Towards Kiev. Right, and the idea is we're going to just attack Muscovy, chop their heads off, and then we'll probably back up. What have we got? That province can take us, and... Neither of those, really. Ah, uh, they sense me, and they're, they're falling back. That is forest, so they will get a bonus there. Are they coming to attack me? How interesting. Right, so they're trying to cut my forces apart. The law governs. Uh, all national rest minus two. Excellent. Monfrat declared war against the enemy. Mila okay, so that happened. Do you know what just disappeared? Corsica? That's a, another Luca? Monfrat? Milan? Wow, okay. Do you know what's just gone? By the way, I'd like to point out that uh, despite two on one, we're almost winning. Not quite. Reinforcements now, we're going to crush them. I think we have to start uh, marching divided. Oop. Pause. There we go. Hmm, not enough men. Okay. 
Right, if you fall up there, you fall up there, and you switch sides, because you're more damaged. Actually, we didn't undo Ryzen. Or we could just... What? What? Okay. That's not the way I want to go around. Um, just forget about going around, right? Forget about it. That's... No. Just... Probably better you don't do those sort of plans. Oh god. Fall back. They're coming. Excellent, we've been joined by Lithuania, right. It looks like we're winning the battle pretty handily. Yeah, for all things considered, it looks like we're winning the battle pretty handily. There is a 15 here, and now I could either go to war here and take them out, or I could just take some provinces. And I think what I might do is I might just take the provinces. I don't want the military uh, idea, I want the attacks, so I'm going to save for the attack. I'll take the provinces because it's a little bit lighter on my troops. Another conversion. Excellent. Uh, can we do a core yet? Not quite. Almost. We've won the siege. Oh god, that's a lot of separatists. Wow. I did not see that happening. Uh, we need to go home. Group. There's a lot of separatists. Okay. Group have been, uh, actually group it in a province where we're not going to take attrition. Probably a better idea. Actually, they're going to take that, so group up here. And you... Truce of Serbia's ended. They are our country. Um, hello? They, like, belong to us? Yeah. Just checking I wasn't going crazy. Diplomat from the Ottomans. The Ottomans are now 34 plus of us. Awesome. They really want to ally, but at least they are less likely to attack us, I guess. Just get England uh, in the same frame of mind. Almost. Too few seats in Parliament. Okay, can we name a seat for Parliament while we're at war? I wonder. Yeah, we can. Who have I not? I guess you will do. Hungary. I don't need military access anymore. Can we just cancel that? Right. Boom. They're putting up a tough fight. Because it's mountains? It's mountains, oh my god. If I'd known that, I yeah, I would have still done the same thing. But the point stands that it was a little bit rash, maybe. Detach. 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 Come on. Detach, and then we'll move you back to, I don't know, somewhere nice, comfy. Uh, uh, I don't know, lose stability or we lose points. I'm going to lose points. Actually, no, I could lose stability. I've got uh, kind of a lot. Yeah, I'll lose stability. Convert you. Oh, we could do the military power, uh, the missionary strength now. It's getting a little bit tough. Like, how upgraded are you? Not that well upgraded. It's getting tough. Excellent, right, military, bam. Diplo. Bam. Textiles. Bam. Ideas. Ooh. No. No. Mission strength 0.5 at past Pope React. Yeah. Any more mission strength was much appreciated. Let's check actually how much of an effect that had. Because it was like 30 something. It's gone down like six months, so that's nice. I really want them to hopefully split Muscovy in this piece, but I, they probably won't.
Ooh, we've converted Noah province with the Sentinel Reformation. Cool. And we're undoing the uh, mess that's been done to Serbia, which is at least something. I guess I did expand them very fast. So they've had a load of uncalled provinces, but still. Ooh. Protestant isn't really is taking hold. Ah, yeah, I love it. Oh, there are... Ooh, look at that. A couple of reformed centers of reformation up there. And is this a reformed center of reformation? No, it's been converted. Where's the other... It's been converted. Two reformed centers of reformation right there. Oh, there are three of them. All really close together. Well, frankly, that's what I like. If they're together, they won't really be able to be as effective. And I can wipe them out in one fell swoop, hopefully. I cover more land. That's what matters. Who are you at war with, Styria? You're not at war with anyone. Fine. Weird, but fine. Loot's turmoil. Good for you. How much is my aggressive expansion now? Frankly, I think people could take it. Urbino. I need a Cassus Belli. Um, fabricate a claim. Urbino. Yoink. I still need more manpower, my god. I need more manpower. But we can make do. We can make do. This is where the blob begins. And they've discovered already, before even the 10% mark hit. Which is a shame. Truce ascended. Rebel uprising. Hungarian separatists again. You know what, we'll give you some autonomy. I really don't mind all that much. It's probably because of the missionary more than anything. Yeah. Active missionary, did it say there? Active missionary plus six, yeah. So effectively I could have ignored that, but... I didn't. I was a little bit too hasty. Don't be hasty, Master Mary. 49. Yeah, finally. Right, you guys can group up here. You're my reserve force in case anything goes wrong. Holy Roman Empire have elected Janazus of Gryffindor as the new emperor. Well, I guess they're fast running out of Catholic, uh, of, uh, Catholic nations, yeah. So, that's fair enough. Must be forced to give Denmark 10% of their income. And all treaties, pay ducats. Ah, oh, it's a shame. I was really hoping for land going to Lithuania there. But hey, at least we, we actually played a part in that war and pretty instrumental. We lost a lot of troops. But, uh, you know, needs must. The times are a-changing. And all that. Soon we'll seed Stockholm. Skate oh my god, they locked Stockholm. And Ireland to Denmark. Gryffindor will seed Berlin. To Brandenburg. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gryffindor will give cause Stenmark to Brandenburg. Surely Berlin was a core, but okay. Uh, Sweden will pay ducats. Fine. Not a bad outcome for the Protestants there. Have they forced Norway to be Protestant yet? No. They really should. I like the fact that all this Protestantism here is just me. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Okay, um... We're still waiting on that claim to be done. But I think that'll be uh, our time to go and start a bit more war. We're called Diplomat. How's England looking? Plus 42. They're a rival, but they're like, they like us. It's just an odd situation being, I guess. Um, I want to keep Modena nice and high, because I'll be eating them at some point. Improve relations. Yeah. Now, one thing I might do is I might eat uh, Serbia and then might vassalize the current remains of Hungary. I mean, when I can go to war again in their region, I don't think I can go to war just yet. Uh, not for probably another decade for that amount of uh, peace deal. But then I really will be out of options. I will have to start marching on Ottoman territory. I mean, I can do it. But it would mean a thorough use of resources. We wouldn't really have another option. 
I've been really seeing if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And then next time, though, until uh, we have a little war with Abino, and maybe have a little bit more push in Italy, uh, maybe consider even Milan, who have eaten Monferrat, as predicted. <sighs> I love you awesome nerds. Stay shiny.